Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days as we take a look at some of the weird figures that have been made for Dean Ambrose. The reason that we're doing this video is because you might have seen on this week's Raw that Dean Ambrose had his final match. Uh, apparently, he has now left WWE. The whole thing is very bizarre. It's very weird. Uh, and that got me thinking about weird figures, weird Dean Ambrose figures. Uh, so I've had a look and I think I found some very interesting stuff. Uh, so I thought I would share that with you here. Uh, if you like this video, if you like the idea of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe. Uh, give the video a like as well. It makes a massive difference. Uh, and if we get, say, 500 likes, uh, then we could do weird figures of other superstars as well. So let me know in the comments below who we should do next. Uh, right, let's start, shall we? And let's start with this. Look at this. This is Dean Ambrose Nitro Machines. There is a lot going on here. Uh, it looks like he's taken an ambulance to pimp my ride. Um, so it's got the Ambrose logo on the side. The engine is sticking out at the front. Um, but it's been very badly made because it looks like the steering wheel has come off. <laughs> I think we're joining Dean Ambrose right now in a real moment of peril uh, as he's hurtling towards the uh, edge of a cliff or something and he can't steer away. Next up, what is this? Nano metal figs. Um, you can see real sadness in his eyes. He looks very sad. Um, so yeah, this looks like uh, his hand is injured. Uh, his left hand, rather than it look like it being taped up, it looks like he's got a bandage on. Um, maybe this is him after that car crash. Maybe <laughs> this is what he looked like after that vehicle crashed. Uh, that we saw before. Uh, next up, we've got this Dean Ambrose teeny mate. Um, if you wanted to see a figure of Dean Ambrose go in the toilet, then this is the figure for you. He's even got that facial expression where he's looking up saying, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Next, we've got this Dean Ambrose dress-up set. Uh, so it comes with the Dean Ambrose t-shirt. You also get the worst ladder in the world. First of all, it's not very tall, which uh, is not a good attribute for a ladder. Ladders traditionally tend to be quite tall. Uh, this one is absolutely tiny. Uh, second of all, how are you meant to actually climb it? Uh, because there's no way you can get your feet in between those little uh, gaps that they've put there on the rungs. That It's too small. Everything about this is too small. And then to make things worse, it's made out of foam. It's not even made out of a material that you can actually step on. It is made out of foam. If these are the ladders that Dean Ambrose is trying to use, then I totally understand why he was a lunatic. Next up, we've got a Dean Ambrose bleacher creature. Is it just me? Or does he look like... Uh, a ninja version of Liam Gallagher. Booyah! He's got like a real Liam Gallagher from the band Oasis kind of a vibe. Um, so yeah, this thing looks weird. Uh, I, I suppose I can kind of see Dean Ambrose in the face. Um, I don't think the hair is very accurate. Next, we've got a Dean Ambrose Mighty Mini. And who who is this? Who, some, well, I say a Dean Ambrose Mighty Mini. It can't be. This looks more like Psycho Sid is dressing up as Dean Ambrose for Halloween. This looks nothing like Dean Ambrose whatsoever. <laughs> it's one of the worst likenesses I have ever seen. Next, we've got this zombie figure. And I've got to be honest, I don't hate these. I actually quite like these uh, zombie figures. Um, this one, though, is a bit weird because his hand comes off like his forearm detaches. And it is an absolute nightmare for it to like stay on the figure. It basically doesn't. So that means that his own hand is a weapon because it won't really connect back on. It doesn't clip in or anything like that. And when you put it on, it falls straight back off again. 
so, uh, yeah, this has got to be the weirdest weapon that Mattel have ever given us. Dean Ambrose's own hand. Before we get to the best and the worst uh, Mattel figures, we've got one more thing to look at. Check this out. This is the Dean Ambrose Create a Superstar Enforcer set. I mean, you, you can see why he's so sad. I don't know what this is. Um, it looks like a bit of a Braun Strowman ring attire with like bits of metal work on it. And it comes with like a Bray Wyatt lantern. Um, but it's just a mess, isn't it? I mean, again, no wonder he looks so sad. Um, that's like my, one of my least favourite Dean Ambrose heads as well. That's like a shield Dean Ambrose head from like 2014, uh, 2015. So, uh, yeah, you don't even get a very good likeness of Dean in this pack, in my opinion. Um, and then not only that, look at this picture. It gets worse. This set, I, I honestly don't know what they were thinking. It is beyond weird. Uh, but that brings us to the best and the worst uh, Mattel figures for Dean Ambrose. Uh, first up, let's start with the best. Uh, you can see it on screen right now. Um, that is a fantastic elite figure. Um, and it's got a great face. Entrance jacket, kendo stick. This thing flew off the shelves. I've never seen this in person. All the places that I've been toy hunting, I have never seen this figure. Uh, it is so popular. Um, and also, just a fun fact, when they first showed this, the prototype had a pink jacket. Um, I think it wasn't, like, finished. I think they were still painting it. But it is pretty fun to think that they might have given us a pink-jacketed Dean Ambrose. Uh, the worst figure, Basic 51 um, and the Signature Series. They are both the same. One's got a black top, one's got a white top, but... Man, that face is awful. I don't even know what that facial expression is. It's like a confused sadness. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe that's what he looks like now that he's leaving. I don't know. Uh, when they first showed this figure off, um, the face just looked like it was melting and uh, it was a whole world of pain. So, uh, yeah, that has got to be one of the all-time worst Mattel figures. Uh, i got to be honest as well, the Elite 63 um, one of the most recent Dean Ambrose figures. I, I wasn't keen on that one either. You can see the face scan on screen. Um, kind of looks like um, he's being forced to smile for a picture at school. Uh, his mouth doesn't look quite right. Um, and yeah, I just I don't know what's going on there. It, I don't know why, but Dean Ambrose really does seem to be one of those superstars that all these toy companies really struggle with. Like, no one can just nail it. No one can really just capture what Dean Ambrose looks like. Uh, I will give credit to Mattel. They have made some excellent figures. We looked at that Elite. Uh, the Retro as well. I thought that was a very good Dean Ambrose figure. Uh, so they have got close uh, and they have done uh, some good, good work. But uh, yeah, that's just a few of the weird Dean Ambrose toys that's out there. Let me know if I forgot anything in the comments below. Uh, and don't forget to let me know who we should look at next time if we get those 500 likes. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.